everybody. Welcome to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. We're here at Maple River Golf Club, just minutes west of Fargo on I-94. Beautiful countryside in the background. Folks, the Hole in One Show is back, and it's right here at the Club in the Country. We're on the ninth hole, 155-yard par three. We have six contestants, and this week it's from Fargo Country Club. We have Mark Johnson here with us, and each one of those contestants will get two shots from 155 yards. If they make a hole in one, they win their choice between a Chevy Camaro and a Chevy Blazer, thanks to Gateway Chevrolet. Now, the mission statement of this show is charitable giving. Each player will be playing for their charity of choice. And if they hit the closest shot, they'll win $1,000 to their charity of choice. Plus, they'll come back in our final segment and they'll get two putts from 20 feet to double that donation from 1,000 to 2,000. And finally, they'll come back to be on our championship show under the lights and represent Fargo Country Club. The closest shot on the championship episode will win over $3,800 to their charity of choice. Fargo Country Club's here. Mark Johnson, great to have you part of the show. Dave, thanks for having us. Hey, well, so I know you were uh, on the show back when uh, Adelson hosted it. Do you have any good stories? Well, matter of fact, we gave away a car that year. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, Terry Delaney made it from, I think we were probably about 140 yards that yeah. year. And uh, it wasn't the most crisp shot ever, but sometimes that it doesn't have to be the most perfect shot. That's right. And it went right in the cup. It's and just, yeah, we celebrated. It was it was a fun time. So, Mark, why don't you share with the, the viewers at home a little bit more about your background and how long you've been at the Fargo Country Club? Well, I just finished my 14th year. Uh, grew up in the area and was the professional at the Meadows for 10 years before that. And, uh, yeah, I've really been involved in golf uh, my entire life. And was on this show three times. I, w I went back and, and thought about it. I was, I was on the show. As a contestant. On the, uh, as a contestant, that's right. Cool. So now as a professional, uh, it's a lot of fun. Thank you for bringing the show back. This yeah. is fantastic. Well, I really appreciate you being a part of it. So uh, what are the fun things? And, and obviously the Fargo Country Club, I'm biased. I grew up there, love the place, beautiful golf course. What are the exciting things you have coming up in 2020 at the Fargo Country Club? Well, we always host that North Dakota Open. You've been a, you're a past champion, 2006 champion. And that's special. It, it uh, really brings... Uh, the community together with the Village Family Service Center, the work we do there, and Bobcat, of course. Uh, and then just great member play. You know, yeah. we, uh, we, we try and keep, uh, keep a lot of activities going over there, and uh, it's, it's a good time. For and sure. The, and the golf course is a little bit more protected now from from the from flooding, is that correct? Right, we've done a lot of work. Um, really, it's, uh, we have uh, 18 holes, really no matter what happens with that river, we're gonna give the members a uh, place to play. That's excellent, and the amenities are through the roof. You got a par three course, pool, tennis programs. I mean, it's really a family-friendly atmosphere. It is, and we've seen a big changeover uh, in the age of our members. So a lot of younger families are not just uh, playing golf, but they're using the entire facility. So that's fun to see. Fantastic. So you have six contestants here from the Fargo Country Club. Let's and and the lone lady on season one of the Hole in One Show. Awesome. So tell us about uh, and also a headliner. Tell us about your six that you brought. Well, we're we have a lot of talent here today. We yes, really we do. do. From uh, from. Uh, North Dakota Open, another North Dakota Open champion. We've got uh, North Dakota Amateur champion. I've got club champions, and like oh, you oh. said, uh, the first lady on the show for this for this uh, year in in uh, Katie Lang. So we're excited to give you a pretty good show. Perfect. Well, let's get after it, huh? All right. Let's All see right. It. First contestant up is going to be Bob Nelson. In the qualifier on number seven at Fargo Country Club, you stepped up, and I think you were like, oh, "Okay, I'll give it a shot," and then you hit it to three feet. Lucky. No, I don't think so. How often do you play golf at, uh, at the club? Uh, three or four times a week. And how long have you been a member? Uh, about the time since you were splashing adults out of the country club pool. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, and you're retired, right? I am. And how many years and where did you work? Four years with uh, Rock 10. They're a paper-based manufacturing company. Okay, very good. So, uh, charity of choice? Uh, MDA, Mus Muscular Dystrophy Association. Okay, well, you ready? What, uh, 155 yards? Yep. What club you have? I'm going to feather a five iron into this brisk breeze and heavy air. All right. He's thought about this one, folks. <laughs> Good luck. Two Thanks. shots. Go get them. Thanks. Yeah, Bob stepped up on the seventh hole at the Fargo Country Club and just absolutely stuffed it. Bob's played enough golf. He, <laughs> uh, he'll dial this in. 155-yard shot. Beautiful day. No wind. Little left. Right club, though. Absolutely. 
he got the feather of the five iron. He didn't quite get the cut. That looks like the exact right distance. Yeah. He can he can figure this out. This is no TV. This is no big deal for Bob. He's ready to go. A nice setup, nice grip. Oh, Another. this looks really good. This looks really good. Go. Go. Oh. Go. Oh, oh fantastic. great shot. Great shot, Bob. Way to go. Just like qualifying. Congratulations. We'll see if that holds up. All right. Our next contestant is our lone lady on season one of the Hole in One Show, Katie Lang. Welcome. Thanks, Dave. Congratulations on qualifying for the show. Thank you. I'm super excited about it. Awesome. So tell us where you're from and, and what do you do for work? I'm from Fargo, born and raised, and I'm an attorney, and uh, I practice in a small firm with my father. Awesome. Very good. So uh, talk about the charity of choice that you're going to be playing for today. So today I'm playing for the Boys and Girls Club of the Red River Valley, and I serve on the board there. They provide after-school programming for kids in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we're thrilled that you're on the show. We're all pulling for you. Good luck. Thanks a lot. All right. Two shots. Fun to see Katie out here. She and her husband live, uh, they kind of re re repurposed a home near the country club. Yep. And uh, really some gorgeous changes to the home. They live close to the golf course. It's going to be fun to watch their family grow and Absolutely. use the club. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Good swing. Good swing. Good shot. Very smooth. Good rhythm. Absolutely. You find that with... Uh, so you, had a, you hosted a qualifier during couples night, uh, a we men's did. day, and then an open qualifier. Correct. So really appreciate how much uh, you put into it. It's a lot of effort. A lot of things yeah, going on on the fun. golf course. Oh. All right. Good try. Good try. Good swings. Really nice. Thank you. You bet. Thanks Thank for being part you. of the show. You got it. Now, right after this, we'll come back. First two are down, next four are up. Kane Hansen, headliner, Fargo Country Club. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust, our ability to pull through this together so for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before, together. Every day is a new beginning, and with hot spring spas and pool tables too, it's a chance to start fresh so you can go after life and achieve your goals. Immerse yourself, then unleash yourself to all that life has to offer. And when the day is done, we'll help you get ready for what's next. Heat that awakens, clear, crisp water that invites, and vitality that drives your day, every day. Hot spring spas and pool tables too. Every day, made better. Royal Jewelers, downtown Fargo. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. Our first two Fargo Country Club contestants have hit their shots, and Bob Nelson is currently in the lead with 14 feet, 9 inches. Now, we've got a headliner for you from the Fargo Country Club. Good friend of mine, great golfer. He's back to being an amateur, so he's here now trying to win a car. Kane Hansen is in the house. What's going on, Kane? Nothing. Thanks for having me out here. Yeah, you bet. We're talking to each other on TV right now. Yeah, I was 
I was hoping it'd be like at a major or something right. a little bit different, but this is pretty cool. You know, at, at one point in our life, it was going to be uh, you or me putting a green jacket on each other, but you know, we got to make the make our own stage. It's, you know, winning a car is not the worst <laughs> deal either. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell everybody, uh, our viewing audience, what you're up to now and and uh, what you're doing prof professionally. Uh, I'm in the insurance business. Been uh, back in Fargo for almost ten years, and uh, it's been it's been good getting back to amateur golf and out here having fun chasing kids aren't you yeah got three little ones and uh we try to play a little golf together and uh it's it's a lot of fun that's what it's all about Absolutely. so uh the mission statement for the show is charitable giving i know you've got something that's very near and dear to your heart so why don't you tell everybody what you, who you're playing for today yes yeah, so we got the great north pole uh it's the third year of it it's provides uh essentials to families in the cass and clay county uh over christmas it's coats and shampoo and detergent just so there's maybe a little bit extra money in the pocket for the parents to maybe buy that present um helped i think 680 families last year and uh, we're hoping for you know a grow at least 100 families every year where every hundred dollars buys you about 700 dollars worth of goods and we pack them up it's all volunteer and deliver it to families all over cass and clay county Fantastic, and you have an annual gala that's always has a waiting list, doesn't it? Yeah, yep, it, it's sold out uh, this last year, and uh, it's you know raised a, a lot of money, and we're hoping we do keep continuing on, and maybe even get it a bigger facility. But I think we had a hundred tables uh, this last year, so that's it's pretty awesome. cool. That's awesome. So you're the first contestant to walk up here with two clubs, which is a veteran move, Kane. You get two <laughs> shots, and you got to take all the information you can get. So what clubs do you have with you today? I got an eight and nine iron, and I'm honestly clueless. <laughs> You're clueless. clueless. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to find out. 155 yards, no real wind to speak of. Uh, how often are you playing these days with, uh, you know, other things in your professional and family life? You know, I try to get out uh, at least once a week. So okay. it's, uh, you know, it's enough. It's, it's fun. It, days are hectic right now, as you know. All right. Well, that Camaro, I know you're a car guy. A Camaro would look pretty good would with you good. in it. So yeah. make it happen. Good All luck. Right. Thanks, buddy. Kane is a North Dakota Open and Minnesota State Open champion in his professional career. A lot of talent there. A lot of talent. <laughs> You've witnessed that. And then your viewers, if you watch, you'll find one I got one a good time. story about Kane. So we got back from college our first year. Or actually, after our sophomore year, we made it on the first tee at the Fargo Country Club. And Kane says, how many strokes are you going to give me? I said, are you kidding me? I'm going to give you strokes? He said, yeah, you got to give me strokes. I said, oh, God, I'll fine, I'll give you one aside. He birdies the first holes and shoots 65. I said, Kane, you're never, what are you doing? <laughs> never getting shots again. Very solid contact, but that's uh... a little pumped up. That's all right, a little long. Was that a seven iron? Sawed off six. Sawed off six. I tried a different one. That didn't go well. That's all right. Second shot right here. There's why, it's for charity. There's that's mulligans. Why, that's why we give them two. Absolutely. Right? Oh, this looks good. This is really on it. It looks like the right distance, too. Be good. Oh! Good shot, Kane. Good shot. Awesome. Way to clutch it up after a long left one. Way to go, man. Hey, Great that's awesome. right, right. That's why you got to get the two clubs. You ended up with a nine iron was the one that was the right club. I think so. Good Thanks, work. Buddy. You bet. All right, next up we have John Lilstall. How you doing, John? Good, how are you? Good to see you. You too. That's pretty tough to follow up. Yeah, he hit in there pretty good. Go after Kane. I didn't want to go after him, but I guess we'll have to do <laughs> Somebody's it. Somebody's got to yeah. take it. So uh, tell us, viewing audience, a little bit about yourself and where you work. Where are you from? Uh, from Fargo, born and raised here, 36 years. I uh, work in commercial real estate. I do commercial sales and leasing for office, retail, industrial properties. So For what company? Uh, Goldmark. Very good. Yep. Fargo South grad. Fargo South grad. I uh, played on the, the golf team there. I wasn't as good in uh, play on the varsity team like you guys, but uh, played J JV there, and yeah, so. Great. So, um, again, a guy that we went to high school with, I know you're playing for today, yep. so why don't you tell everybody who your what your charity of choice is. Yeah, so Nate Olsby Scholarship Fund is my charity. Uh, Nate was my best friend uh, growing up through high school and um, passed away here a few years ago, so started a scholarship on his behalf and um, give away a couple of scholarships to Fargo South um, sports uh, yeah. kids so every year so and I know you work hard we do an annual golf tournament yep, in his yep, honor yep. we do an annual golf tournament every year and gave away our uh, first two scholarships last year so okay awesome. yeah that's fantastic well knock it close All right, I'll good try. luck 
John loves his golf. We see him play. Uh, he's playing enough to be pretty sharp at times. Mm -hmm. His game's pretty good. He may have said he only played JV, but uh, I know he can hit it pretty pretty well. Now he's dialed in. 155 yard shot. Nice conditions here. Good setup. A little heavy. You know, I notice a lot of your players are playing PXG irons. What's behind that? You know, we, we started uh, doing some fittings a few summers ago, and it just took off. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see a lot of players playing the iron. They they do tend to be a little more forgiving yep. than, than some of the other clubs. Um, so we've had some success with the PXG brand. And I suppose if you go to the tee and you think somebody else has a, an advantage on it, you're going to try and even it up. Yeah. Beauty. That was clean. Just to the right. Well, thanks, John. Thanks for being part of the show. Thanks for qualifying, and good job. That's our third and fourth contestant for the Fargo Country Club episode. After this break, we'll come back and round out the fifth and sixth. Stay with us. Jack Shivers here. The rumors of my retirement are fake news. You can now find me at Remax Lake Region. I have a fine selection of never before offered exclusive properties. Find your fit on Little McDonald. This five bedroom custom built property has 200 front feet of Sandy Level Beach. It offers all the amenities from its outdoor kitchen, gourmet kitchen, oversized heated garage, and more. Visit us online at lakesremax.com or call Jack Shivers at 218-841-7624. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty, and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust, our ability to pull through this together. So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before, together. Grow your career with a family-oriented and fun company. MVM Contracting, the area's specialist in underground construction, fiber optic services, and directional boring, is looking for qualified people to join its team. Positions include backhoe operator, drill locators and operators, foremen, laborers, and utility locators. MVM offers excellent benefits, including competitive wages, paid vacation, 401k match, health insurance, and travel perks. Apply now at mvmcontracting.com. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. We're through four contestants on the Fargo Country Club episode and we have two left. 14 feet, nine inches, Bob Nelson is currently in the lead. We have two more contestants. Next up, Tom Pratt. Hey Dave. Great welcome to in. See you. Great to see you too. Be welcome back. in. Great to be back. Uh, moved to Fargo in, in January after living many other places for the last 25 years. So How's it feel to be back? Great to be back. And I'm really thankful that you uh, have resurrected this show. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun and, yeah. and uh, have a positive impact on a lot of people. So talk about your connection to the Fargo Country Club. Uh, I played uh, in probably 25 Bobcats over the years. always like to come back and play in that. Um, when I moved here, it was a no-brainer. That's where I was going to play golf. So. Absolutely, for sure. Great place. So uh, let's talk about the charity that you're going to be playing for today. I've chosen the American Cancer Society. Very good. Very good. Well, best of luck. Thank you. What, what club do you have? I have a 7-iron. Okay, 155 yards. We'll see what happens. Knock it up there. 14 feet, 9 inches. Bob Nelson is currently in the lead. You know, Tom didn't mention he, he, uh, he said he played in the North Dakota Open. But he's also North, North Dakota Open champion. He was the 2019 amateur champion, the net. Wow. Net division. Humble guy. You can't bury the lead like that. you got to say, I just won the Bobcat Open. Good luck. Thanks. It's a good swing. Good swing at it. 
Yeah, Tom plays a lot of golf. Looked like he was trying to play a little draw in there, right to left. He'll correct that. It's good to have him back in the area, isn't it? Absolutely. <clears throat> Very passionate about the game. Great member to have at the club. Wind's picking up a little bit. Downwind, right to left. Good swing. Is that the distance? It's got the line. Well, that was right at it. Go. Oh, right at it. All right, nice attempts. Good job, Tom. Thanks, Dave. Thanks Appreciate for being part of this. You bet. Next up, our final contestant on the Fargo Country Club episode. He was an alternate. Now he's in. Aaron Tate. Good to see you, Aaron. Good to see you, Dave. You bet. So why don't you tell everybody, the viewing audience, where you're from? I'm from Valley City. I've uh, been in Fargo for quite a while now and um, love living here. You bet. What do you do for a living? I work for Edward Jones okay. in Detroit Lakes. So. so how would people get in touch with you and, and uh, use your services? You can find me online or in uh, downtown DL is, is where our office is. So, okay, downtown yeah. DL, perfect. Yep. So what clubs do you have here today? I got the same thing as Kane had. I got an 8 and a 9. I'm kind of in between a little bit. Okay, very good. So uh, charity of choice you're going to be playing for? Charity of choice is the Brady Oberg Foundation. Um, he's a second cousin of mine, veteran that uh, took his life, and uh, they're trying to help veterans uh, live happy and healthy lives after combat. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Well, thrilled to have you on the show. Thanks. And best of luck. Thank you. Now this guy's a player. Golf balls. Aaron uh, actually worked for us at the country club for a while. That's how I met Aaron. And uh, another passionate, uh, has a lot of passion for the game. You know, he's the medalist at the Pine de Palm in the flights. Okay. So I'm telling you, we brought some talent yeah, in here Yeah, you today. did. You brought the A-team. Yeah. Absolutely. 14 feet, 9 inches. These are the last two shots of the FCC episode. Really good pass at that. Yep, a little bit of a pull. We're, you know what, we're having a lot of uh, left shots today, a little bit pumped up maybe, and the wind is a little bit right to left. Yeah, sometimes you get, uh, you're gonna hit something, you get a little excited, the arms go a little faster than mm. the body. For sure. Yeah. Bob Nelson, 14 feet, nine inches. Good swing, is that hanging in there? Cut! On the green. You're dancing a little far away from the DJ, though. That's all right. Good job. Good shot. And Bob Nelson is your Fargo Country Club episode winner. After this break, we'll come back, and he'll have a putt, two putts from 20 feet to double his charitable donation from 1,000 to 2,000. Stay with us. On the golf course, I couldn't see the ball, and I had to say, would you mind keeping an eye on my ball? My eyesight was deteriorating and I didn't know it. I had to keep getting new glasses. Another prescription chain, Dr. Thome said, it's time to do cataract surgery. My only relationship with cataracts are my grandparents. It is arguably the most amazing thing I've ever been through. I end up watching now my son's golf balls and everybody else because I can see them and they can't. We're living in a different time right now. There's so much uncertainty, and it's hard to know what's coming next. But there's at least one thing we can trust, our ability to pull through this together. So for right now, stay safe, remain strong, and keep on going. And soon enough, we'll be back. We'll come out on top, and we'll be stronger than ever before, together. Natural talent physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere. Yeah, we take our responsibility pretty serious about what we do and what we cover. We want to be there for all those moments. That just kind of goes with the territory when WDAY Sports is next to your name. I love seeing kids succeed and doing well. I do, that, that part of me comes out and hopefully I try to portray that on the news each night that my enthusiasm for their achievement comes out during the sports. But we're going to be there one way or the other for, for things that are coming down the road. It's going to be exciting.
Hello and welcome back to the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. Fargo Country Club is almost wrapped up and Bob Nelson hit it to 14 feet, 9 inches, closest shot of all six players. Thanks, David. Good to be here again. <laughs> Good. Congratulations. Uh, you've already won $1,000 to your charity of choice. And why don't you share with the folks your charity of choice and why it's important to you? Uh, the charity of choice that I have chosen is the Muscular Dystrophy Association. I had a nephew, uh, Nathan Schott, who passed away at a very young age and uh, before adulthood. And uh, it's very important to myself and our family. Absolutely. Well, $1,000 is already going to be donated thanks to Bell Bank to that cause. And, and now you have a chance, a 20-foot putt, to double that donation from 1000 to 2000 What do you think? How's your putting game? Uh, it's not very good when I have my putter and this is not mine, so we'll see. <laughs> all right. Well, we're all rooting for you. You get two putts from 20 feet. Good luck. Bob will also be on the championship episode under the lights here at Maple River on number nine, representing the Fargo Country Club. Looks good. Looks good. Ye oh, good putt. Good putt. This is for charity. There's mulligans. Yes. That was a good putter. That looked good the whole way. Looking at the hole. Get in. Go, go, go. Oh, great putts. Congratulations on the donation, and also we'll see you back for the championship episode where if you hit it closer than anybody else, it'll be over $3,800 to your Great. charity. Great, thanks, You Dave. bet, thanks. And we're rejoined by Mark Johnson. Great putts, Bob. <laughs> you were giving him a read, weren't you? Wow, that was, uh, I don't know, how, can you get much closer than those two putts? <laughs> no, that, thing, ways. that was in the hole for a long time. So, Mark, I really appreciate you being a part of this, and, and thanks for bringing a crew from Fargo Country Club. Absolutely, Dave. Thanks again for bringing the show back. I know everyone from our club had a great time. Cool. Well, great. Folks, that wraps up the Fargo Country Club episode. Tune in next week on the Hole in One Show presented by Bell Bank. Natural talent, physical gifts, training advantages. To become a champion, none of that matters. True champions are the ones who are comfortable working harder, staying later, and finding that competitive edge. They are never satisfied simply doing a good job because those who transform themselves from local talent into local folklore are the ones who continually perform beyond their limits. Bell Bank, proudly supporting champions everywhere.